Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome. Please like and subscribe the video, to the video and to the channel. And for those of you returning, hi again, um, and thanks for sticking with us. Um, all the support does mean the world to us, and to me anyway, because I originally set it up, and Alan's just mainly really heavily involved in all of this. <laughs> I uh, do everything <laughs> for him. She just pops up all the time now. <laughs> um, but hi everyone. Um, so today we're doing a Primark call. It's not a huge Primark call um, because, to be honest, we're going through our experience, but it wasn't it wasn't great, was it? Like there wasn't loads. No, of we stuff went there. yesterday, so we're filming this on Sunday, so hopefully we'll go up today. But it just wasn't. We went to our local Primark, and it's not the best, is it? No, we went to the local Primark. There's another. There's loads of Primarks near us, but we went to probably the. The, well, the, the, the worst, worst one, one yeah. just for ease, because the weather wasn't great yesterday, so we just thought, oh, we'll pop to Primark, something to do, and we needed to grab just a few bits and pieces. Um, and this is obviously now, they've just reopened because of lockdown, and social distancing in the one that we went to was just non-existent. Yeah, well, we, we went really early in the morning, we went at like 10am, mm. and there was a queue system, and there was all the anti back at the front, so I thought that was good. But to be fair, Josh is a bit over the top about it. I didn't think it was too bad. It was really quiet. We went at 10 a.m. Like there was probably, when we first started, there was probably like max 10 people in the store plus staff. Yeah, the, when we first started, there wasn't many people there because we were there really early. But after being in there for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, just a swarm of people came bowling through the door. And one minute you'd be looking at someone, there was just like a crowd of people around you. It was just like wherever we walked, it was just a crowd of people. So it's like you're trying to look at like, I was just looking at socks. It was just hundreds of people <laughs> looking at socks. But like surely not everybody in lockdown, like I need to get out and buy a new pair of socks. So I just well, we thought... were sensible and we kept our distance from yeah. people. We'd wait well. for people if we were like when we were trying to look at the shorts, we waited, there were people and we waited for them to move. So we looked after ourselves. Um, but that was just our experience. It was in clean. That store. It was clean. Yeah. They'd done everything they were supposed to do, but it was just the people, and I think it's the area that just they, were they just bothered. didn't care. They were just everywhere. And by the end of it, I just wanted to get out of there. It just I felt like I hadn't showered for about a week. That was his personal opinion. I didn't find it too bad. Like, their queuing system at the tilt was good. They had one entrance, one exit and everything. They had all their screens up. But there we go. So, Josh ended up getting next to nothing. Then I got more bits than he did. But I find the men's section this in Primark is great, is it? normal occurrence when we go shopping. I barely get anything and Lauren gets a load of stuff. So, I thought I'd get involved and show the girls my bits. So, I've got more than Josh. So, I'll show you what I've got. Josh, show you the few bits that he's got. And we, I'll try the stuff on and show you. Yeah, so where am I going first then? You might as well. Yeah, because I... Well, we could go one by one and then you'll run out of stuff. Okay. Well, basically, not everything that I'm going to show you is mine. I actually bought some shorts for my mm -hmm. mum. Yeah. Well, do you want to start with those then? Yeah, I'll just show you these. To be fair, though, for girls that... I, we saw them on Pretty Little Thing originally, didn't yeah. we? This whole thing of, like, this it's the jogger short trend. So, girls, if you can't get any online, maybe try Primark. Yeah. Because they have smalls in there in the men's section. The men's section's pretty good for that stuff. Yeah, so... I got these these shorts. They're like a dark dark blue, like dark blue grey colour. Um, they're just a jogger shorts. You They've all got know the drawstrings, so They've we've got, got her a large, but obviously she can make them tighter with the drawstrings. So that's quite good. And they're a really soft material. They are they? really nice. soft, and they don't. To be honest, I don't think they're going to be some of the shrinks in the wash. But yeah, they're just a jogging shorts. But I basically got a three pairs of these, and they are they're only five pound a pair. Mm. So again, they are something that. If you don't want to wear them, you know, after like a few months, you can just chuck them in the bin, they're a fiver. So this is a pair of shorts that I bought. And then just to show you the colours, I also got them in a grey as well. Again, I like that colour. All of these are five pounds. I'd wear these, like, yeah. just to chill in. And then I also got, there's the other pair. Here, a black pair. So I literally got a black, a grey, and a dark blue, yeah, nice three pairs of shorts, and we're probably giving it to the wrong time because it was hot all week, and now it's just raining and miserable, so she probably won't wear these for a little while. Yeah, but I'm hoping, fingers them. crossed, as we get into July, the weather's gonna improve. Because I bought all summer stuff as well, so we're gonna be screwed if not. Um, not gonna fit, are you gonna there's no order of mine, I'll just pull stuff out of the bag, basically, and we'll see how we get on. So, first stuff is boring stuff, as all girls know, train socks. Underwear, everybody buys underwear. Why do you buy up. these colours? Like, you always get these. Why don't you just get like a plain black pair? Because I like... never see black in there and I don't like white because they get dirty. I don't. I never wear white socks ever because I don't like it. They get grubby and stuff. But these are really good just for new trainers and stuff. So, yeah. 
and what else did I buy? Right, and again. Bras. These are really good. These are the maximized, like, but these are strapless. I've been wanting them to do this nude color in strapless for so, so long, and now they have, so I'm very excited about that for the summer. Yeah, so am I. Well excited about strapless bras. You'll go. <laughs> And then mine basically doesn't get any better. So I <laughs> I basically, I, it was a wasted trip for me. I just was underwhelmed. I bought a pair of black jogging bottoms. Like I've already got loads of jogging bottoms now, but I just wanted a black pair because I don't have a black pair. I've got a blue pair, a gray pair and stuff. So I thought, get a black pair. These were five pound and they've got like, Cuff bottoms. The cuff bottoms. And they're exactly the same sort of feel and style that you would get off Boohoo or ASOS or anything like that. And they were five pounds. So I just thought, well, I'll get them because just to chill in or go yeah. out with a pair of trainers, they're just easy. And for five pounds, I don't really think you can go wrong. Like, they, they're they exactly the same. It would just be interesting to see what the size is like. She got a large, so we'll just see how they I fit. I got a large, they and they fine. look like they'd be all right. They've got the elasticated waist right, as well and then they've got the drawstring so i can't imagine it being a problem but again that was probably the most exciting purchase <laughs> that i made yesterday it was basically the only purchase that you made yeah. yesterday um but i'll try these on for you so you can see what they look like but again they are just a basic black jogging bottom in a size large yeah that's what what i got Okay, so my first bit that I bought, I've tried to get cycling shorts in there, but they didn't have any in our store, which was annoying. So I went for cropped leggings instead. These I got in a size small, so 10 to 12, and they were only £2.50. And they're just like a cropped legging. I literally just got them to chill in. And then to go with that, I just bought, we we're in the men's section, and I bought a massive white t-shirt. It's got a v-neck, I wasn't too keen on that, but they didn't have any non-v-necks. And this is a 2XL. But I just want it to be really big, really baggy and really comfy. So I got those. Okay, so this is that big men's t-shirt that I bought. It's definitely a lot longer and bigger than I thought it would be. But this is a 2XL. So I suppose it's to be expected. I think it would even be big for Josh. But for chilling in, like when it's really hot, this is so loose and so baggy. You could even wear it actually as a dress. It'd be a perfect length for a dress but it would probably be a little bit see-through because obviously you can see through it slightly with my leggings on, but it's just got a V-neck line, which isn't too low, so that's quite nice. Long sleeve, so it covers down to about your elbow. So I actually think you could get wearing this as a dress if you had something appropriate to wear underneath, because it's really loose. Um, but otherwise I like it for what I bought it for. I mean, you could obviously knot it up and I think actually that probably looks quite nice. Looks a little bit better. But yeah, so that's that top. And then the leggings, Obviously there are three quarter length. Let me see if I can put you down a little bit more. There we go. So they are a three quarter length. I'm again short, so on me, they're not quite three quarter length. I could fold them up or pull them up, but again, I only bought them to wear at, at home. Um, they are a little bit big. These I got in a small, so they're 10 to 12. So I probably should have got a size down. But again, they're nice and comfortable. They are see-through, so you would want to wear black underwear or whatever underneath them. But for the purpose of what I bought them for, just to wear with something like this, like comfy around the house. You know, I'm happy. And I made a valid point, by the way, for those of you that are watching, these cycling shorts that Lauren wanted. So she was looking for these cycling shorts and she bought like cycling, like cropped They're trousers cropped things. I said, well, why don't you just cut them? Do you know what I mean? Like just cut them into shorts. For £2.50, just cut them. Yeah, but that sort of material, if you cut them, they curl up and it's just not cool. We'll just cut them properly, they won't curl. And then basically my last and final purchase, which isn't going to excite anybody, a, a load of socks. <laughs> I just, I went there and thought, what do I need? I just need a load of socks. So I got five pairs of cotton rich socks, which are just normal socks that you'd wear like with trousers or jeans or whatever. They were two pound for five pairs. Like I think that's a right bargain, five pairs for two pound. And then I just got the invisible socks like Lauren did, like the trainer socks, because I always lose them. Like I bought those the other like the other week and I just lose them. I put them, they get lost in the washing machine. Or People just, always say that, but they don't. You've just misplaced them. I've just, I just lose them basically. So I got 10 pairs and they were four quid, a per, uh, five pairs for four quid. So they were more expensive than proper socks, but they're nice and comfortable. I'm wearing a pair right now. This is why this is open because again, I lost the pair that I bought. The best it was a terrible trip. trip. I feel like Primark for men is better in the winter for like jumpers, jackets, boots. It's not great for the summer for men. Um, but the next thing I bought, I guess the rest of it is my stuff. I bought these beige like um, 
kind of like cargo shell shorts. They're turned up at the bottom. They have pockets. We love that. They're like a paper got, bag waist. Like. No. And then uh, obviously a tie around the middle and they're just button up. I got them in a size 12 because I didn't want them to be like tight. You know, when you just want comfy shorts that don't cut in or anything. And they were eight pounds. So I thought for eight pounds, they're quite cute. Okay, so these are the shorts. I'm actually really glad I got a 12 because there is actually no fly here. It's like stitched at the top and there's only a button. But I realized it is a bit stretchy at the back. It's slightly elasticated. So you can kind of pull it over, but I'm glad I got a 12 because they're not too tight at the bottom. There's a nice bit of space, you know, they're not going to cut in when you sit down or anything. Obviously they've got the pockets, a nice tie waist to really cinch you in. They're just plain at the back. And then they'll see the little turn ups, which are stitched in so you couldn't make them any longer than what they are. I'm five foot two, five foot three. So they're a good length for me. They're really comfortable. Not stretchy material, but I just think sizing up is probably a good way to go unless you want them to be really, really fitted. I've just got them on here with a Zara Mess top, but obviously you can wear them with whatever you like. But yeah, I really like them. I also got this hat. I think that'll look nice with my shorts. I'm going to get makeup on this, aren't I? Love the hat. I just, figure we, so I just feel like a hat makes an outfit look very sophisticated. I see a lot of people like... Who wears hats like Lydia Millen and people like that? Oh, and just with people. a dress, other YouTubers. Um, and I just feel like they make you look like super suffice. Like, just have to give it a go. See if I look super oh, suffice. Where my hair now? See this? Yeah, you don't look super. This suffice. hat suits me. I think. I think with a pair of shades, I look. I look lethal. I got more underwear. Can't have enough. Obviously, everybody knows. If you don't you get your cotton pads from Primark. These are the big oval ones, they're 90p. This is where you get your cotton pads from. Then I got this bodysuit, just because we love a bodysuit. Just gray, ribbed, um, it's popping at the bottom. I wouldn't say it's a thong bodysuit, but it's quite slim. I never tend to do them up, I just tuck them in. Does anyone else do that? Um, they aren't adjustable straps, so let's just hope it fits. I got that in an extra small, so a six to eight, and it was four pounds. So this is the grey bodysuit. Obviously, like I said, it doesn't have adjustable straps, but this is a six to eight, and I feel like it's okay for me. They're probably a little bit big, but you know, it sits nicely, it's comfortable, nice V neckline. Um, it's quite long in the body, so actually to do the poppers up, it's not uncomfortable at all. Um, it's ribbed, if you can see that there. It's not see-through at all. I have got a new bar underneath, but it's not see-through. But yeah, I really like it, just for a simple basic to chuck on. And it's easy and I like wearing grey, so with white or black or beige. I like it. I then picked up this pink shirt. I've got quite a lot of the sorry, babe. I've got quite a lot of the Primark shirts. I just like them like with shorts and a top just to sort of like chuck over as a jacket or tie it up around your waist or use them as an actual top and tie them at the waist as well. Um, they've just got like tortoise shell buttons. A little pocket at the front. They have got tortoiseshell buttons on the cuffs, but I'll probably fold those up. I got this in a size 10, so it's a little bit oversized, and that was seven pounds. I love a pink shirt. This is personally how I would always wear it undone. Little top underneath, this is obviously a little white one, um, but I wouldn't wear it obviously with leggings personally. I'd wear it with jeans or denim shorts or something like that. But it just gives you an idea. Obviously it is quite see-through, as you can see, it's. It's quite sheer, but it's nice in the summer just to wear over. Or even if you want to wear a little crop top underneath, that would be cute as well. Um, it covers your bum. It's nice and long at the back. Um, you could obviously as well wear it done up um, with jeans, maybe tuck it in, tie it up, whatever you want to do. But I think it's really nice. I love wearing pink in the summer, so I'm really happy with this. I think it's nice, lightweight. You've got the little turn-up sleeves. And like I said, the little, if I come in closer, the little tortoiseshell buttons, nice structured collar, little pocket. I really like it. I'll get a lot of wear out of this, I think. I am still here, by the way. I did pick up a second batch of those because you've got to. I then, whilst I was in there, I use so much bio oil, like so much. I use it on my legs and I use it on my chest. I just use it everywhere because I love the stuff. And I had a really big scar on my leg and it totally got rid of it. Anyway, the big ones in Boots and Superjug are like 10 pounds. This one, I don't know how much it was. I'll put it on the screen. I have to check the receipt. But it's basically the same. Well, or it looks the same like to me. Mega saving, then. It looks like, well, it, it will be a mega saving. I don't know how much it was, so I have to have a look. But it's a massive bottle. It looks exactly the same. 
So I'm going to give it a go and see But will it work? Think. That is the main question. Well, it says stretch marks, scarge, aging skin, dry skin, yeah, blemish but skin, a lot contains of active ingredients. A lot of shampoo says, oh, if you Made rub it in, England. England, you'll get your hair back. I'm not being funny. If you see my airline, it don't say what it says on the tin. I cut Josh's hair yesterday. It doesn't look yeah. too bad, does it? She cut my hair yesterday. It's all right. I'm quite happy with it. It's a lot better than the last time that she tried it. It was an absolute fiasco last time. But if I bought one of these hats as well for myself, just cover, just cover my airline up, would it? Yeah, you don't look cool in that hat. And then the last thing I got, like we said, we didn't get loads, but um, you will have seen the trial clips. It's just this little black top. It's got like the, is it scalloped edging to it, which is quite cute. But it's an off the shoulder, so nice for summer. It's ribbed, has a nice texture to it. And it was, I got it in a medium of 12 to 14 because I didn't want it to be super tight. So we'll see how that fits. And that was only five pounds. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I'm used to it now. Okay, so this is a little black bardo top. Sorry, I know you can't see me, but I wanted you to be able to see it in full. This is a little black top with a little frill detail around the top, just little sleeves. I think I'm glad I got a 12 because it's actually got like nice stretch. Do you know what I mean? I don't feel restricted like... It's really nice and stretchy. I don't know if you can see that rib or not. But I really like this, actually. I've just chucked it on with the shorts. But I think it'd be really nice with jeans, with a skirt. I like sort of the off-the-shoulder. I think it's quite flattering. So, yeah. Excuse the tag sticking out. But I really like it. It's nice. I just want to bring up something about Primark. And I don't know whether it's just me that thinks this. But I don't think Primark is... Sorry, that was... I was, well, I was enjoying wearing that. I don't think Primark anymore is what it used to be. Like Primark, I remember Primark used to be like, my mum used to take me to Primark when I was younger. And especially when we're just before we were going on holiday, it'd be like, yeah, let's just get loads of like yeah. bits and pieces, t-shirts, shorts, like, you name it, we could get it from Primark. Yeah. Like, and that was the place to go, especially if you weren't loaded when you were growing up, you'd go to Primark. Whereas now I go into Primark, and I just don't think their pricing is anywhere near as competitive as what it, what it used to be for what you get. Like well, I think maybe for the men, maybe it's not as great. But I think for the girls, for the stuff we can get, I was still shopping Primark. People love a Primark haul. Like, it's just, it is, I get what you mean, though. I could get similar price stuff maybe <laughs> on Boohoo or whatever. But it's nice to be able to go in store, like touch and feel the stuff. And yeah. It's just like nice trend pieces. But I know what you mean. And I think all the girls will agree that Primark prices have slowly crept up over the years. But, I don't think it's more like, it it's Primark. Like, people are always going to love Primark. It just, for me, isn't what it used to be anymore. Like, I just don't see the appeal of it. But the T-shirts, I was trying to explain this to Lauren yesterday. I've been in there so many times. I've ordered, I, you know, I've bought a large T-shirt, black T-shirt, white T-shirt, blue T-shirt, whatever. I find their sizes is, I'm quite tall, Large Primark is outwards, it's not downwards. I agree with that, because the reason I got a 2XL in my t-shirt is I was looking for a longer one so it covers your bum, and they weren't, the large wasn't long enough, it was wide enough obviously, yeah. but it wasn't long enough, it's and like, it didn't really get that much longer even in the 2XL. They seem to think like, when I want to buy a large, it's because I'm a large person. Yeah. It's like, they don't take into consideration people's heights. Yeah. Like, it's all just one length, but bigger outwards, just because the quality is poor. I suppose, like, uh, I like Primark, so I'll carry on do, doing Primark calls. But I'll maybe do Primark calls, but maybe just in the winter, I'll do Primark calls. I just don't yeah. think Primark, as you can see, I bought a couple of pairs of socks. Well, we did go into a bit of a NAF store. It's not renowned. And also, we spoke to a lady when we were in there because I asked about if there were any cycling shorts in. She said no. And they've said that they haven't had any new orders, like new deliveries in yet. I think they are genuinely trying to get rid of the stock they've had in holding whilst we've been closed. Mm. And I don't know whether they're now going to maybe manufacture that much more summer clothes because obviously we're going to be moving into the autumn trends in the shops so shortly. So <clears throat> Primark may not be great this summer, but hopefully for the winter it'll get better. I would just say there's no need to rush to Primark. Agreed. If you're coming out of lockdown, you think I need to get to Primark, like some people seem to think, I would probably just hold off for maybe a month or two. We probably didn't pick the best Primark. You might have a better one wherever you're based. We've got better ones that that based near us. Experience. So maybe in a couple of weeks, we might go to a better Primark and see what that's like and then give you another review of that Primark and maybe I might have bought more stuff. But I'm not going to hold my breath and nor should you. And if you haven't already, we posted a video last week. It's a, like, it was a River yeah. Island haul. 
um, that Josh did on his own and he's also done a giveaway for it. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. It's really easy to enter. You just need to subscribe, like and comment with your Instagram handle. And that is going to be um, announced Wednesday. So this Wednesday coming on the 1st of July. So if you haven't already, please get involved. Um, it's a £50 reply. Yeah, I'm voucher. not really too sure what everybody's doing regarding YouTube. But it's like we get loads of views on stuff where I don't give it, do a giveaway. But I'm trying to give you something for free that all you have to do is simply like and comment and give us your Instagram handle. That's all you have to do. It's well easy. And I'm going to give you a £50 River Island match if you're the winner. So just do it. Just like, <laughs> subscribe and comment. It's in not, the least aggressive nature. Yeah, in, but it's just not tough. Just get on there and do it. If you're watching this or you've watched one of the last ones, just comment. Just, it will take like a second out of your day. It's money for old rope. <laughs> just crack on and do it. But apart from that, we are after this, just about to record another video. We're just gonna, we're just gonna bang them out today. Um, I'm gonna cut Lauren's hair. And I think if her mum's watching, it's gonna be horrifying. Yes, yeah, sorry mum, don't watch next Wednesday. Lauren's mum is, she owns a hairdresser. Um, and I think if she finds out <laughs> that I've cut Lauren's hair, I think she will be screaming. So apologies in advance for however it turns out to be. So definitely tune in next Wednesday. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you'll know when we upload that video. But it should be next Wednesday. So we'll leave it at that, but definitely tune in if, for that. So that's what we're off to do now. But for this video, thank you for watching. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe. But apart from that, guys, keep staying safe. The world's slowly getting back to normal and we'll keep bringing videos to you. But thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers. Bye.